Hey guys, welcome back to the Crafty Atlas. This is going to be a very quick tutorial, but I'm going to teach you guys how you can have a custom skin in Minecraft Dungeons. I'm going to have a link to these inside the description, so make sure you guys go take a look there. Help save you a little bit of time. So there's a couple key things that you're going to need to keep in mind. Number one is you're going to need to find the Minecraft, Minecraft skin that you want to use. And number two is you're going to need to join the Discord group for the group that's actually providing the tools to be able to convert this into Minecraft dungeons. Now what's really cool is that a lot of the stuff, a lot of people don't realize this inside of Minecraft dungeons is actually related to the Minecraft Java edition. A lot of the maps that are being uh, designed by the developers, it relates back to that. So first link is minecraftskins.com. So think of what skin it is that you're gonna want, okay? This is important to note that you cannot import this into the regular Minecraft. You're going to have to have the modded version of Minecraft Dungeons in order to do this. So I will make a separate video that will teach you guys how to get the Minecraft Dungeons modded version. But for this video, uh, it's assuming that you already have that. So if you don't have Minecraft Dungeons in the modded version, you should see a little icon up at the top there. If you don't see it quite yet, then I just haven't uploaded it yet. It's pretty late tonight. Um, the time of this video, but it will be up very soon. Don't worry about it. Okay, so here we go. I went ahead and I searched for Link because I'm a big fan of Zelda and I think this could be a really cool skin. So I scroll down to the bottom here and I find my skin that I want to use. Let's say I'm going to use this one right here, the Link Hero of Legend V2. So you can see this really like messed up image. The Right here it says Image Link on the far right hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna click on copy image. Okay, so now that I got that image copied, I'm gonna go into the Discord channel. Now this is called Doku Craft. Again, the link will be in the description. These guys have been working on a lot of cool things with this game and uh, you know I'm absolutely excited to see what they got. So over here under the Discord group, you can see something called Dungeon skins mods right and you have skin requests so they built a bot inside of discord i don't know how they do this but i think it's really smart and all you got to do is you got to tag the bot so at doku stash okay you do the pack the skin and what you're doing is you're replacing one of the default character skins that's already inside the actual game. So you notice people do things like Steve Classic. So if you want to have more than one option for the skins inside this game, what you're going to really want to make sure that you do is that you don't use the same name because it's going to replace the previous file, right? So instead of Steve Classic, which I already have with one character, the Naruto skin, I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do it with another one. So let's go ahead and do uh, Alex Classic. And then I'm going to paste, or I hit Control V on the computer, right? For this skin right here, and we're going to hit Upload. When it happens to go through here, you're going to see a little icon. So it's like as if it's trying to process the request. That was automatically responded to by the bot. We're just going to wait here for a second. And while it's actually doing that, we're going to save a little bit of time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in my search bar here, M-O-D-S, mods. Try to remember where you saved your mods file. Okay, this is just my little shortcut. I kept it really convenient for myself on my C drive. So I type in the word mods, gives me a file folder here. And these are gonna be the location for my mods. As you can see on the Discord, this has confirmed that. So now we go to the next tab uh, here under publish mods. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we could see here is your skin mod. There's a download icon. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna click save. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit open folder. I can close out this blank page now, that's not really necessary. And you see that this is a .pack file. So now what I'm gonna go do is go back to my mods folder. 
and I'm just gonna drag this bad boy in. Now you can see that I have a custom skin that replaced my Steve skin. Now I've got one that also replaces the Alex skin. And once you do that, you're done. Go ahead, close this out. You can close that out too if you'd like. And go ahead and start up your Minecraft modded version. So I hit the Windows key for mine, and you can see that there's regular Minecraft. If I searched in here for Minecraft Dungeons, you could find more than one version. But because I've been frequenting the Minecraft Dungeons modding version, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one. Game will start up here in just one second. While this is loading up, guys, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be covering lots of mods for this game, as well as I've already been showing you tutorials, tips and tricks. We're gonna show you stuff before the game even releases new updates on its own. Consider it more of like the vanilla version. This is more like the modded version. Here's my character. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Naruto skin right there. You may think that I don't have an armor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have armor. I have it as invisible, so it still gives me the perk benefits. If you're curious how I got such a high level, I have a separate video in which you can look up on my channel, and it's us finding the highest level possible. It's actually not this level right here, but I do describe it inside of the actual video itself. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Switch Hero. I'm gonna go to Change Skin. We're gonna turn down the game volume there, so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better, just in case it was going a little bit crazy there and we're looking for our Link skin from The Legend of Zelda, which we just uploaded. And you can actually see it right here. So I've got my Naruto skin, and we've also got our Link skin. Look at that, he's looking around and everything. Go ahead and hit Done. Hit Select. Ladies and gentlemen, you are good to go. You can go ahead and hit Start Up Game. You'll be able to see in just one second here. I have a customized skin. And I absolutely love it. So that does it for the covering on this. There's more mod videos that will be coming our way. If you guys are new to the channel, again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It would definitely help us out if you hit the like button and you think this will help out some of your friends then feel free to share this. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if this method did work for you or if you have any issues with it. I'll do the best that I can to try and help you out. But once again, I will include the links to this stuff in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.